Hey Bianca. Hey Bianca. Yeah, hi guys. So I found out something very, very, very important for us to know. Well, what is it? Well, <laughs> Cleo's group's spy is Spectra. And Spectra has a monster cold this week, and she's probably going to be out for the whole entire week. That means we could plan a, an, an attack on them? Of course that's what it means. Yep, Athena's right. That is what it means. We're going to plan an attack. Okay, but we've just really, well, I don't know if we should. Why not? Well, we should still plan an attack, just not on them, because they're the po most popular girls in the school, and if we plan an attack on them and try to get them out first, then Nefer's group will be the most popular in the school. We definitely don't want that to happen, so we should take out Nefer's group first, and then their group, because if their group just stays popular, no one will notice anything, because nothing will have changed. Good idea. Let's attack on Nefer's group. We'll talk about what we're going to do later, okay? Okay. So, Nefra, do you want me to go spy on Bianca's group? Twirly, there's no time to spy since Spectra is sick, and I think she is Cleo's group's spy. Well, we should plan an attack on Cleo's group. Why not Bianca's? I thought you didn't like her either. Yeah, Nefra, why not Bianca's group? Because... We need to take down the most popular girls in the school so we can become popular. And then when we're popular, it'll be easier to take down Bianca's group. Good idea, Nefra. I know it's a good idea. You don't have to tell me. Jeez, she could have said thanks. Hey guys, I heard that um Bianca's group doesn't have a spy. We should so plan an attack on them. Cleo's actually right. For once. Hey. Shut up, Cleo. Yeah, now would so be like the perfect time to plan an attack on them, but the thing that sucks if one of the uh, the other groups might plan an attack on us since Spectra's sick. They probably figured out that she's our spy, but at least she can spy without being noticed. Yeah, she's very known around the school, so her as a spy has pros and cons. Well, guys, let's stop talking about Spectra and start talking about how we're going to plan our attack on the other groups, which is Bianca's group. Let's see. Let's talk at lunch about it. Okay, ghouls? Because I have to get to class. Bye. Hey, Nefra, I got an idea for, like, planning an attack on, um... Cleo's group, why don't we camp out outside of the port of their apartment buildings and then in the morning when Claudine and the rest of the crew goes to get in their car, we will attack them. We'll mess up their hair and their car and when they get to school they'll look horrible or they'll be really, really late and get in big trouble. Good idea. Let's do it. Lunch time, finally. I know how we can attack Bianca's crew. How? Why don't we tell them Nefra dropped her phone in that cage for the new wolves in the gym? And since there are no new wolves in there, they'll go in. We close the cage door, like, but a lot of periods before their gym period. And then, this is the funny part, they'll, we keep them locked in there and we throw out all the keys and uh, it'll be so funny because I'll be going crazy screaming like wild animals in there. Huh. It'll be so amazing. Good idea, Gulia. Let's do it. Agreed. 
definitely agreed. Agreed. Hey guys, I figured out how to get Nefra's group. How? Well, we all know my dad's a doctor, right? Yeah, duh. No brainer. Yeah, well, that means he owns some anesthesia that makes people fall asleep. I'm not dumb, you don't think I know that? Yeah, well, I can steal some from his office, and I know the amount to put in because it's only... Because you can't put any more in, in the shop thingy, whatever it's called. Anyways, so then we inject all that anesthesia into Nefer's group. Everyone in Nefer's group, and they'll fall asleep. And then, and when we go to science, we'll take them with us and just say we're practicing for acting class or something, and they're playing dead. So then. We put them in the display cases and science room, and the one they wake up, they'll be screaming like crazy. Good idea. Let's do it. Come on, ghouls. I think we should go head over to Claudine's side of the apartment. Let's go. Okay, ghouls, we're ready. Me and Twirla finished setting up the tent right outside of the apartment building. So, um, let's go in the tent. And... I think Halloween should be the watch guard. Guys, I don't want to be watch guard. <laughs> Halloween, you have to. I mean, you're a wolf, you have the best sense of smell, and you can know when someone's coming. What about Claudette? She's a wolf too. Yeah, but you're the youngest, so you have to. Well, what about Twirlight? I mean, she'd be really good at it too. I'm already the spy, so no. Halloween, you have to do it or else you'll be out of our group. Well, not forever, of course, but for a week. We won't pay any attention to you, and you'll have to sit at the loser's table at lunch. Uh, fine, 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 I'll do it, okay? Just get in the tent and leave me alone. See you in the morning, Halloween. Good night. Everybody's in the tent now, Ugh, and it's night. I want to go to sleep already. Ugh, I'm so bored out here. I'm so bored and I'm alone. Ugh, I'd rather fight with my sister than be here all alone. It's not like I'm scared or anything. It's just so boring. I know what to do. Every day I'm shuffling. And I'm bored again. Hey, Draculaura, are you awake? Yeah, Claudine, I'm awake. What do you want? Well, I heard Halloween outside, and I bet when we wake up in the morning to get ready and leave our apartments, there was a tent there and all, and it's probably in that first crew, and they're probably gonna, like, throw water balloons and mess our makeup up or something. I think we should go to sleep in the attic so we can get to the other side of the apartment and get the fans we won't get us shouldn't we tell the other ghouls no because then we'd have to leave our apartments because we couldn't call them because the cell phones weren't on and helene would get us probably she'd see us and smell us hear us and everything then we'd be really messed up in the morning so yeah we shouldn't leave our apartments and to get to the attic we can just take the back way from our apartment why don't we take that back way to the other ghoul's apartment? Well, if only the attic and our apartment has a door to get out to go through the back way. The other ghoul's apartments don't. Oh, okay then. Well, we better get to the attic really quick, okay? And they'll probably be all messed up in the morning though. Yeah, I know, but we can sort of save them, okay? We'll just, um, get Abby to lend us her van. She probably will. She said I could use it whenever I want, because I need it most of the time. Because it might be huge family. <laughs> okay, we'll use Abby's van. 
Oh, let's get up to the attic, okay? Okay. I don't know if we'll get much of a good night's sleep, but this'll do. Yeah, well, good night, Claudine. Night, Draculaura. Draculaura, it's morning. Hurry, we gotta get to the van quick, okay? Okay, let's... Come on, Claudine, we have to get into the van. Let's hurry. Oh, ready, ghouls. Get him! <gasps> oh, no. Uh, goodbye, popular. Come on, ghouls, get in. I guess Nefer and her crew aren't at school today. Hm. Oops. What's wrong, Cleo? I accidentally dropped my phone in the cage in the gym. Ah, uh, too bad. Yeah, Cleo, that is too bad, because we are going to get your phone. Come on, ghouls. Yay, we're going to get your phone. Not quite. What? Get us out of here. Help. We can't get out. Ugh. Get me out. Get me out. Get me out. <laughs> oh my god, that's hilarious. High five, ghoul.